So don't let them steal your life. Guys, figured I'd talk a little bit um, about an incident that happened to me about six weeks ago. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, the things that happen and the reason why I think uh, a lot of uh, women are uh, two-faced and uh, can't be trusted. Um, I'll go back a year ago, basically. A year ago, I <clears throat> met a girl when I went down to Hiroshima and I went down to a friend's place. For some reason, this woman liked me. I thought I, I knew of her and I had seen her and she remembered me. And uh, I had met her maybe twice. And uh, she was young. She was 26, I think, maybe 25 at the time. She's 26 now. And uh, she was a yoga instructor. Nice girl. You know, I thought she was pretty cool, you know, whatever. I wasn't really interested in her in any way, but yeah, I thought she was all right. And uh, I come this year, I started going to the uh, uh, Hiroshima, and about six weeks ago, I, I was coming down, and this girl asked my friend if I was coming, and he said, yeah. And when I showed up, uh, I showed her pictures of me as a trans, and uh, she seems to uh, be like, you know, she can't quite understand it, but she she was talking to me and asking a lot of questions, so it was it was fine. Well, we ended up having sex, and uh, we had sex two nights in a row, while my friend and his girlfriend was upstairs, so they both heard. They both heard us having sex, actually. And um, I didn't really think of it as like a relationship or anything like that. I'm, I'm, not, really, I'm not really into that. But, uh, you know, it was nice to have somebody to hang out with. I haven't actually been with anybody in over three years. The last person I was with, I was dating when I was in college. And that was in January of 2013 when we broke up. So I hadn't been with anybody since then. So it, it was nice, you know, being with somebody. But I didn't plan on having a relationship or a marriage or anything like that or a girlfriend or anything. It wasn't nothing like that. And then uh, I, I start writing her emails and, and talking to her. We have a thing here called Line. And uh, she starts telling my friend's girlfriend that she doesn't know why I'm emailing her and that she's not emailing me and that she's not interested in me and all this stuff. But she's writing me like... 30 times a day and telling her that she didn't like she didn't wasn't interested in me and she was trying to make herself look good for some reason to my friend and it, it make it made like no sense even my friends didn't understand why she would be lying about it and I would show him my phone and show him like how many emails she had made she'd made this she had told her um, that uh, she hadn't been writing me and I actually gave the girl my phone and told her, you know, she had wrote like um, 25 emails since we had dropped her off at a train station and we had only drove home and the ride home was like an hour. And so in an hour riding home, she had already wrote me 19, 19 or 20 emails, you know. And she was saying she wasn't writing me at all. She was telling her that. And she believed her for some reason because she's a woman, obviously, so they're going to believe each other. But yeah, this is what she thought. And for some reason, this is how she's been doing the whole time. And this was six weeks ago, and we went down there again like four days later. And uh, she came out and was writing me emails and talking to me and everything, saying the same things again and again. You know, telling her that she wasn't writing me, she wasn't interested in me, she didn't know why I was writing her. And I was showing her that she was actually the one that was sending me an email, and that I would send her something back and... You know, most of the time I was just sending back these emoji things, you know. So I wasn't really writing her back. So she kept saying that, like, it was me doing it, not her, you know. And uh, now now she's been, like, dis, like, disowned and, like, you know, they told her, like, she can't even come out. And my friend is mad because uh, uh, 
she basically disrespected me, got him in a fight because he tried to come between him and his girlfriend, and she got mad, and it was a big ordeal, you know. So, um, what what's really funny is I th I think she must have some mental issues because she she literally is doing this stuff like she was trying to make herself look better and make it look like she wasn't interested in me like that's going to make you look better when you had sex with me in the house while they were able to hear you know but you're going to look better if you look like you weren't interested in me so you just had sex with me but but you weren't interested in me so that makes you look better than saying that you were interested in me and that's why you had sex that's that's how this girl thought you know this is like you know a female mentality you know here in Japan anyways so this is this is my story of uh, you know what you'll encounter if you come to Japan the kind of things that you can expect the kind of completely irrational uh, fem female thoughts processes that go on here um, uh, the first night she had sex with me we had went out drinking or she had went out drinking I hadn't drank I actually drove us home because I didn't drink and uh, uh, she in Japan a girl can have a few drinks and then have sex with somebody and it's not like America they use that as a as a way to say like uh, Oh, I don't remember having sex with you. You know, that kind of thing. I don't remember, you know, like, we we don't have to, like, uh, have, like, a relationship because I don't remember really having sex with you. I was drunk, you know. So they kind of use that as a way for them to be inhibited in their, in their sexuality. Yet, when they're not, then they don't. So the next day, we had sex. She wasn't drunk. And she even said that. She made that remark when we were about ready to have sex. Like that uh, I, I'm not drunk, I haven't drank anything, you know, which was a, like a red flag that like, uh, I kind of knew what I was dealing with right there as soon as she said that, you know. So this is, this is what I'm, what I'm talking about with, uh, you know, many, many women, uh, many of our experiences that we have with women, um, you know, you, a lot of guys have this idea that all women are bad and I, I think you can't really have that blanket statement. But the fact is, is a majority of them are. And the it's like winning the lottery. Finding a girl that's not going to fuck with you and not going to fuck your life up is very difficult. It's not easy. So if you're willing to stick your dick out there and take the chance of having it chopped off or having some girl take advantage of you or get pregnant and then use you as an ATM machine because you're just a utility in society. If you're willing to do that for the gratification of maybe finding that woman because you're led to believe that this woman is that and she turns out not to be, which will be 90% of the time, you'll find out that that girl isn't around and is very difficult to find. Um, then I, I don't you know I don't know what to say you know it's like that's that's the whole point of the MGTOW movement is basically uh, you know and the herbivore movement as well is trying to stay away from those women you know trying to not be around those women and I think if you're smart that's what you should be doing you should be not trying to search for those women and they're gonna come running at you that's something I've always found if I stop looking for women they come running and they will try to find you and uh, I think it's uh, it's it shows you a lot about their mental state about how they how they want to deal with men you know about how they want to use men you know we're having a lot of problems in society now because of this uh, quandary that we've set up so Thanks for watching. Uh, this was my little story, you know, of what's happening to me over here in Japan. Uh, it's kind of a personal thing, so, you know, it's not all women, but it is what happened to me. Uh, you got any questions, uh, leave them in the section below. Any comments, uh, we can start a dialogue. 
share, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. So don't let them steal your